wiki.easyvid.com. Search EasyVid Wiki before you decide. EasyVid presents the 10 best board games. Let's get started with the list. Starting off our list at number 10. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. The Retro Series Scrabble 1949 Edition is the classic word-building game that you remember. It comes with 100 wooden letter tiles that look just a bit classier than plastic versions, so it'll make for a great gift. It includes a velvet tile pouch and is designed to look like the 1949 edition. However, the board is thin and flimsy. At number 9, the trademark games Trio gives you three games for the price of one and includes all the pieces you need for checkers, chess and backgammon. The entire set has a high quality wooden construction and it can fold in half for practical and convenient storage. It's equipped with a carved handle for easy carrying and strong magnets that hold the case closed, but the pieces tend to slide on the board. Coming in at number 8 in our list, Asmodee Concept is an engaging game that's fun for the whole family. It prompts you to use your creativity and imagination to solve the riddles from the visual clues. The diverse and fun icons range wildly from ancient samurai to Leonardo DiCaprio. It's easy to learn the rules and fun to play without keeping score. However, there's no real strategy involved. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for board games or simply click beneath this video. At number 7, Monopoly Mega Edition is a modern spin on the time-tested classic that attempts to speed the game up. The game board is 50% larger than standard Monopoly boards and this set features new skyscrapers and depots to match the new $1000 bills. Buildings and big rents come fast and it can help to develop math skills, but games still take a long time. Moving up our list to number 6. Ticket to Ride can be played by as few as two people or as many as five, and it's always just as much fun and challenging. It has tons of replay value with no two games being the same. The goal is to see the most American cities on a seven-day cross-country train ride. It requires shrewd planning, and fast games take up about half an hour. However, the small pieces are easy to lose. Halfway up our list at number five. An update on the original game, Seven Wonders Duel is designed for two people to engage in head-to-head -head battles. Your goal is to build a powerful ancient civilization that can last for centuries and stay one step ahead of your opponent. There are multiple ways to win, and this game values player choice over randomness, but it does take a while to set up. At number 4, from the designer of Seven Wonders, Tokaido Board Game is outfitted with gorgeous artwork. This strategy title revolves around traveling through Japan and working to become the most accomplished traveler by collecting experiences along the way. It's good for children as young as 8 and offers lots of replay value. It's also available as an app for smartphones. Nearing the top of our list at number 3. If you're looking for a game that's just as much fun with two players as it is with a small group, you need Marc Andre's Splendor. A simple two page rule book allows you to get up and running quickly, while the advanced strategy and gameplay make it challenging. The core strategy is based on economics and is good for players aged 10 and up. It features beautiful art and high quality cards. Our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for board games or simply click beneath this video. At number 2, one of the most popular shows on TV is now one of the most popular board games. A Game of Thrones allows 3 to 6 players to take command of the great houses of Westeros and draws them into a war-torn world of sun-scorched sands and lush forests. It includes clear and detailed rules and attractive marble plastic figures. It takes a lot of strategy to win. And taking the top spot on our list. When it came out, the settlers of Caden created a sensation and became an instant classic. This fifth edition features a new board and new graphics and cards, as well as an expanded rulebook. It's a challenging, rewarding and fun game that takes about 60 minutes to complete. You can play it over and over, and it's both artistic and attractive. It won the Game of the Century Award. 
our newest choices can only be seen at wiki.easyvid.com. Go there now and search for board games or simply click beneath this video.